All right, good evening, guys. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at uh, one of my newest arrivals here. It's the Magretti Moana Pacific Professional Diver's Watch. Now, this is a watch that's limited to uh, 500 pieces per color combination. Uh, Magretti, for those of you who may not know, is a, a boutique dive watch brand which was founded by a watch collector and designer by the name of Dion McCasey. The company itself is based out of Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, now, Magretti's designs are influenced by uh, 1940s uh, military watches and 1970s uh, dive watches. Now, right away you'll see that the presentation is uh, extremely nice. Uh, included is a uh, flip-out, um, very heavy paper card, uh, which describes uh, some of the um, history behind the brand. Uh, gives a certificate with the uh, the case number and some description of um, the materials used. Now inside the box you'll find a, a zippered leather case. This leather case um, has the logo embossed in the lid. And then opening up the case you'll find uh, a card with the um, company founder's name on it. Uh, the upper portion of the case is a nice uh, removable uh, leather, almost like a wallet, uh, with, again with the uh, company logo embossed on it. Now I'm, I'm to understand that the logo is inspired by um, a fern and, uh, and how the fern curls up. So you can see a nice leather pouch which fits into the lid. Okay, so now let's take a look at the watch itself. When you open the uh, the lid for the lower compartment, uh, you'll see that the watch is contained within a uh, special well uh, that's cut out uh, specifically for this watch. So taking a look at the case, the case is a uh, 316L stainless steel case. It has a uh, brush finishing on the sides. It's a cushion style case uh, that you'll see um, kind of reminiscent of, of watches like Panerai and some other boutique brands. Uh, the watch itself has a 500 meter water resistance. It has a screw down crown right here at the 3 o'clock position and the crown is polished and has a uh, Magretti logo uh, etched into the, the surface. Over on the 9 o'clock side you'll see that it has a helium release valve. The bezel is a unidirectional rotating bezel and it has a, a matte gray uh, ceramic insert. The crystal is a slightly domed. Magretti says it's double domed with uh, inner anti-reflective coating. Now looking at, at the dial itself, the dial is a uh, matte gray with uh, orange, red, and black accents. I think it's a very easy to read dial. I like the uh, the bright red uh, seconds hand and this the seconds hand actually has a uh, a white uh, luminous uh, tip at the end. Uh, there's a small date window at the uh, 430 position. All the loom on this watch is uh, C3 Super Luminova. Taking a look at the case back here uh, you can see it's a screw, screw down case back, again, uh, with the Magretti logo on it. It uh, describes uh, the water resistance rating and also has um, an engraving of the uh, individual case number for the watch. Alright, so the movement that's powering this watch is the Miyota 9015 Japanese Automatic. The 9015 is a 24 joule movement. It has a beat frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Fully wound, uh, the movement provides a 42 hour power reserve. The movement can be wound uh, with the crown and also includes a hacking function when the crown is pulled out to the time set position. I've got multiple watches uh, with this movement and I find them to be all very reliable. Uh, you can see that the second hand uh, moves very smoothly when running. The strap that is included with this, there's a, 
an optional leather strap as well, but the strap that came with mine is the um, the black polyurethane rubber strap, and this strap uh, has the McGrady um, logo imprinted on it as well as a McGrady um, script on both sides. And what I find uh, extremely nice is the buckle that they've used. This is a, a custom buckle for them uh, with their shield logo on the surface. It's a dual deployant. So um, the dual deployant should uh, help save wear and tear on the strap over time. Uh, it would make it uh, much easier to uh, take on and off. If you guys are interested in this watch, uh, I'll have a full review uh, on watchintime.com uh, with some timing tests. I'll have all the links to the watch and the, uh, the McGrady uh, website in the area down below. Also, uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, please feel free to post them below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.